A lot of stuff. Oh man. <laughs> that is just too much. Wait, is this all the stuff I have? It looks like it. No, there's no way. Yeah, this is all the stuff I have, because I remember that. Huh, that's kind of weird how it does that. Alright, there has to be something cool in here. Cooler, anyways. Oh, anyway, this place just looks cool. Look at the computers. Newer. Still old as hell, but this is like freaking new technology for them. Back in the, what, 60s? <laughs> I don't know. Here we go. Check out that weapon. Marksman, powerful sniper, whatever. Oh man, that, oh that looks sick. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is a real sniper too. What what type of bullets does that take? Three oh eight. So that's all I have. Fifty five. Fifty five. All right, I'm, that's gonna be the new sniper. All right. This one. I'm just gonna drop. Heads up. Let me know. Grab that gun over there. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Unlimited. All right. So he thought he could kill me. Yep. That's. Wow. Oh, okay. He's <laughs> loading. <laughs> Come in, Piper. No Noise. Oh. Piper. <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> Piper, you know I get scared easily. Oh, there you are. Roof access. 
cool. Every texture is loading in again. I already deactivated. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah, I I knew this was a door. Part of your group. Repeating. This is Paladin Dance on frequency nine five. All brothers of steel know. units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. Yeah, that's, um, that's badass. I'm gonna, uh, okay, I'll listen to the rest of it. That is so cool, man. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. Repeating. This is Paladin C95. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. What? Repeating. <laughs> Alright, so I listened to that. Wouldn't want to be in your shoot. You got a line on him? Yeah, he's dead. Alright. Let's um Let's go talk to Nick. Before, oh, that's my sniper. I'm about to go to bed soon. Yes? You shoot people in, sir? My dad says outside is shoot people. Yeah, I've shot people. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. Hey. Thirsty. New Coca Cola. Here you go. Real sweet of you. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, aren't you just a big softie? <laughs> Let's go uh, talk to this little kid. A dad says not to talk to strangers. Well, hello. I want to be left alone. All right. Time of city surplus. Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. <laughs> Nick, where's your son? What happened? I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute, and he he gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things 
considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need a way. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. <laughs> he had access. He's dead. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. <laughs> I'd do it again. I had no choice. He wasn't going to talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Dr. So who's Amari. this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Hmm. I already have something. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. I'll take Piper. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Thank you, Nick. Piper, let's go. Sticking with Piper, Josh. Mm-hmm. How, how did your heart feel when you actually gave him the dog, uh, dog meat? I cried. And it was like whining, you know? <laughs> My heart just was Talk to Dr. Amari. We're going to do that later. We're going to go to Paladin Dance. I'm just going to teleport over there. And sadly, I'm going to have to get off. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa, whoa, what the? These weren't here. Wait, are those brotherhood markings? What the? What is going on? Okay, well, this is perfect time because I was going to end anyways. But, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> what? Um, have a good day. Or, okay, I can't do that because it's just glitched out. Have a good day or night.